Hey, what's up everyone? Morning, Carson here, and today we're going to be doing a breakdown on Karsten Warholm's 4594 Amazing World Record, and we're going to start the video right now. All right, so we have the Olympic Championship here on the left, or the gold medal event here on the left, and then this is actually from 2016 here on the right. And in 2016, the winner actually got a 47.73 in comparison to now where the winner got a 45.94. Carson Warholm here uh, is, is the one that ended up winning. And, you know, there's really going to be a great battle here going into it. It was a big question of, you know, Rye Benjamin here from the United States and Carson Warholm, you know, who are going to be the ones that end up taking it. I just want to kind of break down uh, what were some of the differences. So it's almost a two second improvement, by the way, from the 2016 uh, gold medal winner to what, you know, the gold medal winner took this year in 2021 so that's a huge improvement good under 46 seconds in the hurdles is crazy you know like even getting under 46 seconds in the 400 meter just like running 46 seconds is a great accomplishment adding hurdles makes it even crazier of accomplishment some people are saying that it's even more impressive than usain bolt running a 1919 200 and 958 100 so i think that's debatable i'm i'm a big 100 meter uh you know runner so uh, i still think that that ends up being you know a big thing but uh you know still a huge amount of respect you can see the world record here down below 4670 going into this so you know that even is an impressive improvement of you know how much he smashed the world record which it was his own you know world record that he broke here but you got garson Walholm here uh and, and you know big thing that really stands out is just how much he opens up his stride you know he just has to have so much range of motion as he's running here because you can see and and we'll go and, and get a uh, a side view here of you know what what he's doing when he he's taking these steps and he just takes so much distance on each one of his steps right he's really reaching on on each one of them there and he gets so much range of motion in his arms he pumps his arms so much and, and you can see he's pretty timed up with you know Rye Benjamin there uh, in terms of you know the ability to create a good amount of force on, on each one of the steps and, and really you know it didn't end up being a huge difference where in 2016 they were at about you know 33 seconds getting over that last hurdle, you know, when he touches down in comparison to, you know, here where he's touching down at about 32 seconds. So there's about a second ahead here at this, at this point, um, Carson Warholm is, but, you know, really that, that last ending, you know, the, the straightaway here, because Ryan Benjamin's so close and, and you can see again, you know, look at how long his strides are on each one of those steps. We'll go ahead and break that down. So boom, you know, touching down there at 79 or 931. And you know, you know, still, you can see how far he is up onto his toes, and he's back off by 0.44. So he's got about 0.13 in terms of his foot contact time. So he's taking a little bit longer foot contact time, but then he cycles back down and touches at probably about, let's say, 8.9. So that's going to be about a 0.45. Uh, time time spent off the ground so he's really trying to maximize how much distance he's taking up per step you know he's not really working a ton on being able to cycle the legs fast he's really just reaching out look at how far of, of, of a reach he's getting in these steps and, and that makes it so now as he approaches the hurdle you know he, he ends up you know being able to shorten that step a little bit more really concentrate on being able to control that step going into it right so he's long 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 and then when he goes into the step is able to kind of shorten it up right where you can see Ry benjamin has a little bit more of a consistency on on his stride he's not reaching as much and you know in in that case he's able to get a little bit faster overall turnover he's turning over those legs a lot quicker than carson waterholm is but waterholm is just able to pick up a little bit more distance per step and has a little bit more efficiency efficiency overall in, in the actual run we're going to quickly interrupt this video just to say if you like the information so far go ahead and click that thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel we're going to hop right back in the video and so now at the end you know and this is where it comes down to you know i think where the big separation was uh you know even though at, at the end here with you know carry on clement you know if he would have been able to have that same type of finish because he was out pretty well in front of everybody beforehand but i think you know and he still had to gut it out there at the end but i still think that you know if he ended up having a different type of push there he might have been able to get a little bit lower but yeah 47.75 ended up being the final mark here where you can see these guys you know 
Carson Lorholm went all out for that first 300, but then still had enough to really be able to, to reach a ton and be able to uh, get to the line there faster. You know, that that's what really stands out to me is Carson Lorholm just has so much more distance per step that he's really reaching to try to get and really pumping those arms fast to be able to increase that turnover. And I think that makes it so overall efficiency wise, he's really able to get a lot out of each one of his steps there. So uh, yeah, that ends up being a really important part of being able to, you know, have the stamina needed to be able to really get you into that elite level of, you know, 400 meter times is being able to really maximize that turnover the best that you can uh, to, to make sure that you're able to, you know, at the end, still have the efficiency to finish with a, you know, good amount of power. All right, and that is the end of the breakdown. As always, if you like the information, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, you can go ahead and leave those down below. And if you guys like this breakdown in particular with the hurdles, I know I don't typically do this, but because it was a world record, I thought, why not try it out? And so if you like the information, go ahead and leave me a comment down below just to let me know. And I can do more hurdle breakdowns just like this, get a little bit more technical into what are the key different between the top hurdlers in comparison to more, you know, of another type of a hurdler. So, you know, let me know. I'm always open to being able to provide more value for you guys. And with that being said, if you guys want to get a breakdown of yourself doing through the hurdles or through sprints or through any type of high jump, whatever the case may be, long jump, we'd be happy to do that for you. We have a link down below for you to be able to reach out to us. We can get you a customized breakdown in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you.